people, how are you today? Just wanted to share my chickpea scramble recipe. This recipe isn't on the meal guide. It's actually in my new ebook, Eat More Plants, which I will link in the comments if you want to check it out. Um, there's a bunch of great recipes in there. I have an awesome Caesar salad recipe, uh, my favorite ranch dressing, uh, strawberry, chocolate covered strawberry oatmeal. Like there's some great recipes in there. So I'll link it if you want to check it out. This one will be included in there as well. Um, so the first thing you'll need is half a red onion. Do you see this? I don't need to. You're gonna slice half a red onion. Um, this is kind of how you want them to look when you're done slicing them. Um, and then I have two cans of chickpeas that I drained and rinsed. I was about to say the backwards. <laughs> to the pan. I don't use oil. And you're just going to fry those up until they're translucent and they smell really good. And then you also need, so you have two cans of chickpeas drained and rinsed. Um, you also need some dill, some salt, pepper, turmeric, ground turmeric, and a potato masher. If you don't have a potato masher, you can use a fork or your hands. You also need two cloves of garlic, minced, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I have everything ready just so like I could show you quickly and easily. Um, it also just helps like for cooking in general. That's something I'll be talking about more in my new plant-based blueprint course is how to cook and make it easy and fun. So and these are ready for chickpeas. So two cans of chickpeas. gonna leave them whole just to like fry up and get a little um, brown in the pan. And you want it on medium heat by the way. <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna let the chickpeas get warm and brown up and then we're going to mash them and add all of our spices and mix it together. It's starting to brown so nicely. I'm so excited. This again is like literally one of my favorite breakfast recipes. It leaves me full and satisfied until lunch. It's super easy to make, super easy to put together, and super easy to heat up and like have as leftovers during the week. Um, so it's a super easy recipe to meal prep. And actually in my ebook, like every recipe has like a great for leftovers, if it's great for leftovers or not. So that'll tell you if that's a good recipe to meal prep with, if that's like something you're into. I just love it because it makes it so much easier on me. like nobody wants to be hungry and have to make food and like spend an hour like 30 minutes to an hour in the kitchen when you're starving like it's so convenient and nice to just have food in the fridge that you can heat up okay they're about ready to mash and add all the spices just adding more water so that the spices like stick to the chickpeas Alright, so you're not going to mash all of them, you're just going to mash like 50, 50 to 75 percent, kind of depends on your preference and how many whole chickpeas you want to be in the end result. And like I said earlier, you can use a fork or your hands if you don't have a masher. teaspoon of turmeric and you're gonna add salt and pepper and the last ingredient well not the last ingredient the last spice you're gonna add is dill dill weed dried dill weed say like one to two teaspoons it really depends on your preference with dill I love dill so I add a bunch 
And I'm gonna add more water to mix it together well. I just tasted it, I'm gonna add a bit more dill. Don't be afraid to taste things as you're cooking them. I feel like that is so important for the recipe to turn out well and for you to enjoy it if you know how it's gonna taste before you like put it on a plate and dive in. I'm gonna add more salt to this as well. And then the last ingredients we have to add are our garlic and lemon juice. You can also serve this with some like greens on top of kale with like liquid aminos, massage it into it if you wanted to. Um, I love to do that from time to time when I feel it, when I have kale in the fridge. I actually just used all my kale yesterday, but yeah, that's an option too, just to add some more nutrition and deliciousness. I like to clean as I go, so I'm just gonna like rinse this stuff off. And you're gonna, I'm gonna add the lemon juice and the garlic you're gonna make. This is so much garlic I have, by the way. You're gonna make a little like well in the center, like so. For the garlic, I just like put it all on my knife. Straight into the pan, and now I'm gonna rinse this off. You just want that to like cook in the pan until it's kind of fragrant, and then you're gonna add the lemon juice. is how it looks. Oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells amazing. And once that is all warmed through and mixed together, it's done. It's ready to plate up however you want to fix it. I also love to eat this on top of a waffle, like a frozen waffle. I just heat it up in a toaster and eat it on top of a waffle. It's really good that way. Or on some toast with some avocado. Like there are so many ways that you can eat this. Like it is such a great recipe. It's so versatile. It's so easy. This took like, yeah, less than 20 minutes. Like, and I've talked for kind of a lot of it. So it could probably take even less than that if you're <laughs> quick about it and like um, not talking and doing a live video like I am. But yeah, I hope you love this recipe as much as I do. I hope uh, this was helpful and of value to you. Yeah, have a great rest of your day. I will see you later.